So if I collect the screw, bullet size is a lot bigger, grab our health and our move speed, so now we're way faster. This tutorial will go over how you can create some basic items and with that create a basic item system. So we have these sort of items here, okay? And if we open it up, we have a collection controller. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually create a new class and it's gonna be an item class. So it's gonna be a public class item, okay? In this class, we're gonna want a uh, name for it so we can have a public string name okay and then we can have a public string and this can be the description and we'll actually use these later on in case we want to put up some UI uh, that'll like pop up when we collect the item which will be pretty cool um, but for now we're just gonna leave those and we're also gonna have a public sprite and I'll call this uh, item image, okay? So, uh, we have this basic item class set up, but I'm gonna add a uh, system.serializable, okay? So we can have a look at it in the inspector. In our collection controller, I'm gonna set up some basic stats, and we're gonna have a public item, and I'm gonna call it item, we're going to have a public uh, float and I'm going to call it health change. Um, and I'm going to set up a couple more uh, float values um, that will be able to change some of our stats. So we've got one for health. Uh, we can have one for move speed. Oop, need a float. We can have one for move speed. Okay. Um, we can have one for attack speed we can even have one for our bullet size okay all right sweet so what we want to do when we first start the game we want to firstly we want to set our sprite render as sprite okay we're going to set it to item dot item image okay with that we're also going to have a quick little bug fix because if we use a polygon collider uh, with our sprite um, it's not actually gonna update if we change our sprite at runtime so what we need to do is we need to actually create a new one so I'm just gonna destroy our polygon collider okay did I seriously do that the wrong way I did sweet okay and then I'm going to add a polygon collider. Oops. All right. Now we don't need this update function, so I'm going to get rid of it. Oop. And uh, this is cool here. Collected amount plus plus destroy game object. Um, I think what we also want to do is based on our stats, we want to be able to update them. So if we just put in, if this is like a potion or something, we can put in our health and then we can heal the player. So we can do game controller dot heal player. Okay, and we can heal it for our health change. All right, and we can actually do Okay, so we need to actually update our game control a little bit to add in floats because I believe these are integer values. Okay, so we can heal player, we can move speed uh, change. So call that move speed change. We can update our fire rate. So speed change and then we can have our bullet size change with our bullet size change cool so these aren't gonna work because we haven't actually declared them if we go into our game controller firstly we need to set our health to a float value 
Okay. And we can change it to a float here. Sweet. Um, and what we also need to do is we need to add a a float for our uh, bullet size. Okay. So bullet size is going to equal to 0.5F. And we can simply just copy this. And instead I'm going to call it bullet size and we can get the bullet size variable and we can set it to the value that gets okay so we also need to add a few new methods so we can have a public static uh, void and this can be move speed change okay and this can take in a float for our uh, speed. Okay, make sure you put a space. Okay. We can simply go move speed plus equals speed. Okay. And we can do that again for our, what do we call it? fire rate change okay so oops fire rate change float just call that rate so it's a bit more understandable okay and instead of move speed we want our fire rate okay now as our fire rate goes down we're going to be shooting faster so instead of adding on we probably want to minus it okay and finally we can have our bullet size change and our float can be the size okay so we can add on the size to our bullet size perfect so if we save that and we just double check cannot convert a float to an int. So we just need to make sure we change this value to a float. Okay. Yep. After we've changed that to a float, make sure we save that. Um, and we're actually going to need to go into our player controller, uh, because in our player controller, we don't actually update our fire delay and our move speed. Okay. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to set fire delay equal to game controller dot um, what was it called? Fire delay? Was it fire rate? Perfect. And then I'm also going to set speed equal to game controller dot move speed. Okay. So if we get changed, if we collect an item, it'll change. Um, and it should update. We also need to update the size of our bullet. So in our start function, uh, we need to update the transform.localScale, okay? And the local scale can be a new vector two because we don't want to touch the uh, current Z scale, okay? And we can just grab the game controller dot bullet size, okay? And game controller dot bullet size. So That'll change based on what items we collect, if we choose to collect them. Okay, so if we go back into the editor, and we have a look at our collection controller. Okay, so we should have our item. Okay, and we should have our change in stats that we may choose to change. So, we need to set up some items. So this first item, I'm actually, I'll call it a potion. Okay, and this can heal the player by one. Um, and for our sprite, we don't actually have any sprites, so I'm going to go ahead and import some sprites. So I have these three sprites, looks like they haven't been set up properly. So I will quickly set them to sprite and apply that. So they should be good, except they're probably going to be too big. So we can change the pixels per unit, apply that, okay. So if we set the, oh, where's our potion? If we set this now to our potion, okay, and we can call this potion description uh, gives the player plus one health. Okay, I 
going to I'm going to remove that. I'm going to set our scale to 1. We need to set our player to also have a trigger. So what we can do is we can add another uh, box collider 2D, but this one will be a trigger. And yeah, so we can go ahead and do that. If we take some damage now, So as you can see, we've just collected it and it's increased our health, which is pretty cool. And I'm actually going to go ahead and create some more so we can have our boot, uh, which if you couldn't guess it, um, it's going to change the uh, movement speed. So we can increase move speed by one. Okay. And we can just set our move speed to 1. And for our next item, uh, yeah, make sure we get rid of that. And we set our scale to 1 as well. And for our next item, this can be our screw. So if you know in uh, Binding of Isaac, there's a screw item which will increase your shot speed and also increase your... Uh, bullet size so that's why I've set up the bullet size change um, so we call it screw and uh, increase bullet size and shot speed okay so we can do two at once if we'd like uh, our attack speed we can increase it by 0 0.25 so the delay will actually go down a bit and our bullet size we can increase it by like 0 0.25 as well if you want okay so if we play that now we have our three items okay and if I just get damaged a little bit okay and that's my bullet size now so if I collect the screw, bullet size is a lot bigger and we can shoot a lot faster, okay? So that's pretty cool. Can you grab our health and our move speed? So now we're way faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. I will leave a link to the uh, assets that I've used in the description. Uh, I actually drew these assets myself, so they are free to use commercially if you choose to use so. But yeah, uh, leave a like and a comment if you found it useful, if you have any feedback for me, and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.